Hey guys, it is Cristana with Bella Renovare, and this is our next installment of Eclectic Finishes with Cristana. So I know you guys are eyeing this little Christmas tree behind me. Buffalo plaid, check, uh, so amazing. I don't know if it's popular every year, but I feel like this year people are really digging it. So I wanted to do another tutorial on the buffalo plaid um, check look. So it's kind of sunny here today. I have my hat on, so sorry. I just want to protect myself from the sun. So anyways, this little thing right here was an old door. Okay, guys? And what I did is I cut the old door, and now it's going to be, I'm going to show you. So it goes all the way down here. It's gonna be a little Christmas tree. I'm gonna do a border with um, some one by twos around here and put a little stem and a stand on it and it's gonna be super cute. So for this tutorial, I'm just gonna do go over buffalo plaid. So I also have a blog post coming up about how to make this little tree out of an old door. So what we're gonna start on today is this cute little thing, this cute little buffalo plaid. And you're, what you're gonna need is, you're gonna need, so we're gonna use four different colors. You're gonna need a brush for each color. And these are my Pink Pixie brushes, I love them. These are my favorite natural bristle brushes. And then my favorite synthetic bristle brushes are the New Line by Dixie Bell. So I am also going to include a link, an affiliate link to any of these products here in the description. So if you guys are like, where do I find this? It'll be in the description with an affiliate link. It doesn't cost you any extra to use it. It just helps me to keep on creating for you guys and giving you free tutorials. And you know, you're just supporting a small business owner. So um, along with the paint brushes, we are going to also use Dixie Bell, all Dixie Bell paints. So we're gonna use Dixie Bell's Midnight Sky, Dixie Bell's Fluff, Dixie Bell's Manatee Gray, Dixie Bell's Driftwood, and generally when I do this buffalo check, I use the frog, the yellow frog tape for delicate surfaces, but because we've got all these little nooks and crannies and things right here, I have pulled out my super duper frog tape. So this is just the regular not delicate surface frog tape, and it's the two, I think it's a two inch one. So this is what you're going to need for a surface that is not completely flat. So I learned my lesson doing this one, so we're gonna use this one for next. So what we're gonna do is we are just going to flip this bad boy over and we're down, and this is just the wood right here. So we're flipping this bad boy over and we're gonna start on this. So stay tuned and we'll get started. Hey guys, so I have moved my little door right out to the driveway so it's right underneath the sun so that way it'll dry faster and we can work on this piece and you guys aren't waiting as long. So the first step to any buffalo plaid is to do a base coat. So for my base coat, I'm going to do Fluff by Dixie Belle. So you're gonna do your base coat on your piece first and then we'll go to the next step which is putting on the tape. So now that our base coat of fluff is dry, we're gonna start doing the taping. So you're gonna go this way. We're gonna, my way is horizontal. So up the tree is vertical. So we're gonna go vertical up the tree and I'm gonna start on this end right here. And I'm just gonna go right at the corner, okay? And I'm gonna go up like this. So this is going to be a little bit different than, I'm going to go this way, it's going to be a little bit different than a square surface. So what I like to do is cut off or rip off a piece and then this kind of helps me know that there's even space. So do that. That's kind of going to be your, your guide. And then go up this. And because we've got a little bit of um, a groove here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the best I can with covering that. So this may get a little tricky. So we're gonna make sure that it at least covers this spot. So on some of these areas that are not flat, it might get a little tricky. What? We'll go like this, go down, and then you're just gonna take another piece of tape because we still have about mm, a 
quarter of an inch right there. And do that. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this piece of tape, make sure this is pushed down pretty well. Take this piece of tape, put it right here so that we see where the next spot is that we need to go. Right. So there we go. Okay. It is completely taped off vertically. Okay. Make sure you're pushing it down under here. So we've got our base coat of fluff on here. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to go over it with our second color. So our second color is going to be driftwood. And I'm going to go over this with driftwood. I'm just going to paint all the all the spots that are white is where you're going to want to paint. Hopefully we don't have any bleed over. Normally on a flat piece of surface you don't have to worry about the paint getting underneath, but this is a little bit more unique. But like I said, I'm going to distress this so it's not a huge deal if we have a little bit of paint that's splotched. So you're going to paint the rest of this, all these white parts with driftwood, and then we'll be back. Okay. So the driftwood is dry, so the next step is to pull the paint off. So we're going to pull all these pieces of paint off, or the tape off, sorry guys. All these pieces of tape off. And we've got some pretty good lines here. All this tape comes off. pretty good. Looks a little like Beetlejuice or maybe like a prison jumpsuit. <laughs> and really, if you want your Christmas tree to be um, lines, then that's a good way to make lines. All right, so here we go with this. So the next step is to go horizontal, okay? So we're going to go horizontal because remember we were going vertical up our tree. Next, we're going to go horizontal across our tree. So it's the same concept, okay? So the same thing, we're going to start from the bottom, and I'm going to stand up and come over here. So we're going to start from the bottom, and you're just going to tape, tape it off. Same thing, rip yourself off a little piece so that you have this as a guide. Okay, I'm going to move you down here. And you're just going to go across like this. Okay, and you're going to go across all the way up this tree okay so finish that tape it off all the way across up the tree okay guys so we have gone all the way up the tree okay and so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our next color which is manatee gray okay we're gonna take manatee gray and we are going to paint over the exposed areas so we're gonna take our manatee gray paint over all the exposed areas, okay? And you're just gonna do that, finish that up. And then after you have gone over everything with Manatee Gray, we will be back. So the last and final step of this is to go back vertical on your piece. But the key is to find where the lighter one is, the lighter color. So what I mean is, is pull this back a little bit and this is your white so that's your lighter color so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back over it on the lighter color so sometimes you can see it through your tape sometimes you can't so just to kind of cheat say okay I know that my lighter color is right here so what you're gonna do is you're going to all right I ripped a piece of my hair out okay so you can start from anywhere because you've already got everything measured out. You just want to make sure that you find your lighter color that you went vertical with. Okay. Oops. 
Remember, you're not peeling this tape off yet, this next set of tape. Go over this. And there we go. Okay. So now that you know that that's where your lighter tape is, you're going to either start, start on either side. And generally, you can see it anyways. So you don't really need this to guide you anymore. If you can see where your lighter color is. Hopefully that makes sense. So what you're going to do is you're going to go over all these spots where the lighter color is in the opposite direction. And again, this is a little bit more tricky because this isn't a flat surface. So make sure on these little areas that you're covering that. Okay. covered right there and here's some more of that light spot right there and you can see it right here and once you have done this taping. See you guys, I told you there's lots of taping. So once you have done this, then you're going to paint your final color. So let's do all this and then we're going to paint it. All right, so I have painted all of the, or I have taped all these. So now we're gonna do our last color and we're gonna do it in Midnight Sky. So we're gonna take our last color, paint over all the areas that are exposed. Over all these exposed areas and Keep on painting over all these exposed areas until you've painted everything. Okay guys, so here is the moment of truth. We're going to pull all these pieces of tape off because I have painted over all the areas with Midnight Sky. So now you're gonna pull all the tape off that you had just put on. We could just probably pull it all off like this. And there you go. You now have a buffalo check Christmas tree. This is what we've got. So here we are. Your buffalo plaid tree. Oops. So your buffalo plaid tree. Cool, huh? So now I have both sides, this side, and then this side has buffalo plaid. So you're going to want to wait until it completely dries, okay? So wait until this piece completely dries and then you can distress it if you want to distress it. I am probably going to seal this with um, Dixie Belle's Easy Peasy Spray Wax because of these crevices. Um, but in order to finish this, I'm going to do some one by threes on the side of it, stain them, make a the outside then make a little stem and a stump and all that stuff and then it'll be done so this is the easy peasy way to do buffalo check and again thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe hit the bell and share this video and hopefully it helped you guys